Hello, this is Jim Neep with Jim Neep Woodworks. Uh, I'm going to do a really quick video here on my new monitor and computer setup for my Avid CNC machine here. Um, for quite a while, I've been trying to find a, a different way to store and kind of house my computer in here while in use. Um, I had it just sitting on my bench, um, and I saw a lot of people had different kinds of carts and uh, to roll them around on the floor. Um, some people mount the uh, monitor and computer to an articulated arm on their Avid machine itself, but none of those really worked out too good for me in my shop. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you what I did. I um, haven't seen anybody do quite this, um, and it's, so far it's working out really good for me. So I still wanted to show it in case somebody um, was interested in doing this with their machine. Hopefully you can see this pretty well where I have the camera, but what I did was I mounted this uh, monitor and the new computer, so I got rid of my laptop. Um, I mounted this on an articulating arm. I used to have my laptop here. The Avid machine was over there, and so there are three things I didn't like about that. One was my laptop was always using up space on my bench top, which is valuable space in my garage. The second thing was I had to run my ethernet cable down here along the floor and I was always tripping on it and I was worried that I was going to trip on it and rip it, you know, tear it out of the socket on my laptop. And the third thing, the screen wasn't really big enough and it wasn't close enough to the machine where I could see it when I wanted to. I used one of these little portable keyboards at the machine for jogging uh, and hitting some hot keys like to turn my laser on and off. Um, but even though I could control everything and I have a touchpad on here, I really couldn't see what was going on in Mach 4. So for some things like touch plate operations, I still had to always come back here uh, to be able to see the screen and use the Mach 4 screen. So with this, now my ethernet cable goes up to the ceiling and down over the machine, so I have no ethernet cable. Uh, you can see this is a lot bigger than a laptop. This is a 27 inch monitor. And I can pull it down here and use it at the workbench like I do when I'm writing code or browsing the internet or whatever. I can pull it over here right next to the machine and I can see what I'm doing here. So if I bring this keyboard over now, I can uh, see well enough to pretty much manipulate anything in Mach 4 that I want to. Uh, the computer is on the back so I can turn it on easily. I have all my USB ports here so when I'm using oscilloscopes or my electronic microscope I can plug into the USB ports really easy uh, and then when I'm done with it and want to have it out of the way I have a nice cover for it to protect it from dust and I can just simply push it up and out of the way. So um, basically that, this way I have a computer. Um, it's actually a smart monitor so I can browse with it and stuff too, but um, it's, it runs my Mach 4. I can do all my browsing. It actually, this is a, a i5. It works pretty well with Vectric VCarve Pro as well. So I don't normally do my design work out here, but I often tweak designs uh, change the tool pads and stuff when I need to update them so I don't have to go back to my main computer. So, uh, so far this is working really good. The one thing I would recommend if, if you're interested in doing this is try to find one of these that has uh, two arms on it. This one has a solid post and the top rotates around. It only has one up and down post so its range is somewhat limited uh, vertically but they also make two arm ones where both of them articulate down so uh, with that one I could have mounted it a lot closer to the ceiling to get it up farther out of the way and I would have preferred that unfortunately I couldn't find a used one and those are about 1800 bucks for a new one because it's for medical uh, they're always expensive but um, you could also make one of these without too much effort, but 
if you can find a used one on eBay or something, it's pretty nice because they're they have adjustable tension on them, so you can set them up for just the weight you have on here, and they stay where you put them, and they move really easy. So um, anyway, thought I'd put that out there in case anybody's interested in mounting it to their ceiling. Um, I'll put a link for the monitor and the computer that I got. It's it's an inexpensive Chinese uh, i5 mini computer, um, and as I said, it. It's got plenty of power for VCAR Pro, as well as uh, runs Mach 4 great, and it's got a hard Ethernet, six USB-C ports, or actually Type A ports, one C port. It's got a micro SD card reader um, and an HDMI port. So it's a very capable little computer, um, and this whole thing only weighs about 12 pounds on here, so this arm can handle it really easily. So. Anyway, just uh, thought I'd put that out there in case anybody's interested in a, a different kind of mount for their 